<laughs> Give it some time. Still nothing? No. No, no, it opens up. As soon as I try to move the window, the whole not do anything with it, it crashes. Just hangs. Ah, damn it. It's a bit unstable. Yeah, right, I probably don't need it. Nah, you can just follow along with me, probably. Uh, do you have Sky Vector? I do, yeah. Well, we fly southeast, uh, southwest, uh, first on, a, on approximately 220 uh, degrees most of the time, more or less along the coast, and then we come to Echo November Golf Kilo. If you put that simply on your uh, GPS, I think it, you can direct you it. Should work. I won't use the GPS, I just do pure VFR, but uh, if you put that into a GPS, you're fine. Yeah, that's what I'll probably do. Yeah, so I have some custom points in there, uh, and only a few that are not custom. So if you put in from Echo November Kilo Juliet to I Echo... Hold on a second. Yeah. now? <laughs> I didn't have the parking brake set and the engine started and then it just went shooting off down the runway or shooting off down the roll. Oh, okay. Because I cheated and used the auto start just to quickly get the um, GPS on. I can give that to you later so we can do our pre flight checks and uh, walk arounds and stuff, and then when you're ready to put it, I can give it to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, that'd be better. It's an easy flight, it's just a long down. We have, I have to be, I've, I've put it around some of the control areas that we are not supposed to go in. Of course, we can go in there because nobody else is around, but uh, and they don't give a shit here on. Uh, I don't know if it's down as far as I know, if you really bust into the control zones, but I try to make it as kind of semi realistic. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Now, then, you just start a 
start with our processing and once once the engines are warming up we can do a bit more about the flight plan and stuff. I'm using yeah, real-time weather. Um, so am I, yeah. Good, because then it doesn't matter anyhow, but uh, then we can just coordinate a bit. Well, at, at the moment it's cover okay uh, all, all around, but there's a front coming in, but I think it's not coming today, it's coming maybe tomorrow. It'll be, uh, especially on the on the east side of Norway, on the southern coast there. So it should be, should be alright. Now then we just start with pre flight. Oh, it's just loading um, prepared up again, it crashed. Ah, uh, okay. I just I just start with the walk around and stuff. I'm rather excited about that flight. First flight with the Cessna. Have you not flown it before? No, not that one. I mean, I have, I have been flying Cessnas enough, but uh, not, not the AKA. Yeah, yeah. So I use full full tanks this time. Let's see how far I come with the, with the tanks. How much baggage do you need normally? 20 kilos? Maybe something like that, yeah. 20 kilos and a, and a cask of beer, that's 25. <laughs> 25 yeah, really more, so 45 kilos. Do I have anybody with me? No, not yet. I might pick somebody up on the, on the way. Do we have any of the Twitch? Is anybody watching on Twitch? I don't know if there's anybody. I saw maybe one or two that are watching. I don't know what the, the, the view list is now. Mr. 556, how much do you weigh? Hello, can you hear me? Okay. No, I mean the guy in, on Twitch. If he's not speaking up before I have done my pre-flight, then he's not a he can't fly with us. Okay, then let's see. Ignition and avionics off. Master switch on. Check fuel quantity full on both. Car flaps open. Yes, flaps extend. Master switch. Just did a pedo heat. No, it's on. Static pressure altitude valve is off. That's confirmed. Oh, 
Must switch off. Elevator trim set for takeoff. Okay. Engine start. There we are already. Engine start. Like new, that's nice. Let's do that. Speed of tube cover remove. Okay, I'm started and ready. Okay. Pilot's handbook is there. Waiting balance checked. Parking brake set that we have already. Control lock removed. We did. Avionics off. Battery switch on. Fuel again. Fuel quantity checked. That did we as well. Avionics master switch on. Static pressure. It's checked. Annunciate the panel test. Is tested. Check the appropriate lights remain on. Yeah. If you select the both, yeah. Flaps extended, yes. Pedo heat. On and then off again. Avionics off. Battery off. Elevator set for takeoff that we have. And then we go to the uh, to the def yeah, remove the cover, press and hold, and it's warm. Okay, great. Next item, lock the yes, lock the door. Yeah, removed. All the bolts are in place. All those bolts are in place, and then we test that one and the rudder, and the fl trim flap is working. Yes, that's working, and that's good. All the hinges and bolts are in place. And then we wiggle it. Great. Alright, was it you that did uh, fly with one of the bolts missing? One of the what missing, sorry? It, was it you that told me that you were flying once and one of the bolts on the uh, control surfaces was missing? Um, no, I've flown once with um, one of the flaps damaged. Ah, but um, there, there was a bolt missing, right? Uh, no, because I, ca I can never do the walk around. Because I had the um, that um, camera program, I've, I've never worked out how to do the walk around. Okay, I I know how to fix. Actually, I I was looking in the forums. There's a fix that you can follow. Greasy instructions to fix that, and it works. Okay. I can give that to you. Yeah, yeah, give it to us, and I'll have a I'll have a look at that tomorrow. Yeah. Because I wonder if all those checking the bolts, if this really is just fun and giggles, or if you if this really can miss something there. I'm sure I have heard the picture of the images can change. Um, okay. So you can miss some bits. Um, but obviously a brand new um, aircraft like you've got, you should be fine. Yeah, sure, but uh, it would be nice to just know if you do it just for, yeah, yeah. for kind of playing around with it or if it really has something to... Because if you have oh. to be really aware of that, that is pretty awesome, I mean. Yeah, I mean, it might be worth a Google because somebody may have done screenshots of the damaged bolts and things. Yeah, right. I have just to check how it would look like. I mean, I fouled spark plugs a lot on the B17 uh, and on the on the Spitfire. I did a lot of uh, over choking the engine and stuff, so I know that it's that there is something to it. Yeah, I imagine the T6 Texans like that as well.
I like as well the, the tau function. I think that's brilliant. What do you mean? You can tau the plane, do you know? Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. Because I had it yesterday in a position that I didn't want it, and then moving the, the kind of the set and then movement of the whole plane, that's all often kind of a pain in the ass, but just towing it, it was really easy to just get it. It took some time, but I mean, it's easy going. Yeah, because sometimes you end up in a parking position where you got your nose right up against a, a wall. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'm ready for the uh, GPS coordinates anyway. Yeah, just a second. And no problem. Soon done. So we've got ENKJ to start with. Yeah, give me a second. I'm soon back. Just the last bolts I'm checking. You know, you never know what Chesna is giving you. Maybe they had a lazy day at work. Give me just a half finished airplane. <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? Okay, let's see. Uh, it's from uh, Echo November Kilo Juliet. Yeah. And then more or less to Echo November Sierra November. We can land there, but it's just a flyby. And uh, so to get to get to Regin. Echo November Sierra November. Yes. And then our destination yeah. is Echo November Golf Kilo. It's approximately an hour's flight. But we can land as well in uh, in Echo November Sierra November, which is uh, half the distance approximately. And it's yeah, all yeah. all small airfield. I mean, this is Chala is an, uh, an airbase, uh, as you see by the vehicles around. And uh, and there's a, I I was using that space because uh, there's a NILU, the Norwegian Institute for uh, for Air Research, more or less, uh, and I did work with them together, so I know they they oh, around cool. here. Yeah, so first we will pass by Oslo and then Oslofjorden, and then we go on along the south coast uh, to. I don't know what the landscape's really looking there, but in the end we will come to Gulknop and then we take our stop first stop there. Yeah, that's good. Alright. Then uh yeah, then uh, we can continue now. Is there still somebody watching here? Still Mr. Five Five Six, but he hasn't replied yet, so I don't know his weight. So it just I guess I have to leave him in Inchella. Yeah, looks that way. I'm just gonna find my way to the um runway. Yeah, I have to start now first. Next mixture out, drop control in, master switch on, beacon on, valve flaps open, still the case, fuel pumps on, make sure it's until steady flow. off then area clear yeah clear the prop clear prop and ignition to start
Amazing web pressure looks good. Amps are positive, not that, but okay, that can happen on a low running idle lightning engine. So they, now we are positive, right? So navigation lights coming on as well, and uh, avionics on, of course. Okay, radius, and then we retract the flaps. I think the local QNH is 123 approximately. Which one way are we going to use? Are we going to use 12 or 13? Uh, doesn't matter actually. The wind is still calm from from the west. and I'm taxing out.
I'll see you in a moment. I'm coming around now. Where are you? Um, I'm literally just on the apron looking out at the runway um, with the split between going left or right for 12 or 30. Strange, because I'm there as well. Did you go left and then left again? Yeah, let me just come out of FS. I'll, I'll move somewhere else. I'll come out of FS Cloud and go back in again. Maybe because prepared crashed. Yeah, I don't see you online. Or do I? Yeah, there you are, but... Uh, let's see. Well, I'm just pulling left. I just want to make sure uh, that I don't uh, crash still, into a You're still here. there. I'm standing directly at the cross section. Yeah, I'm just going to get back in again. Okay, I'll see you behind again. My left magneto is somewhat strange, but... Can you see me now? No, not yet. Ah, now I see you. Okay, now you appeared. Okay. I, d I don't think we can go that way, actually. I think we have to go to the right, and then the entry to the runway is directly behind you. Should I go first? Do you still hear me? Yeah, me at all. I think you have to turn around. The the entry to the runway is the other way. So you're still standing there, are you moving or are you... Is there some problems? Alright, now I... See what your problem is. Just behind you on the apron. Yeah, I see you. And then, uh, what what should we take? Thirty six, twelve. I think we can go for the for the thirty, right? For the what are you thinking on the for the twelve? Mileage? For the twelve? No, for the runway. Which one? Let's go for the twelve. Yeah, no problem. <coughs> we okay. follow you down there and then line up behind you on the runway. Yeah, you can do that. We can make a formation and take off.
Okay, I'm going here on the right side. No problem. Sorry, I'll, I'll probably line up behind you just to play it safe. I'm just parking here now for a while so that you can turn around comfortable. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. I don't use flaps for this. I think we have enough runway. Nah, nah, yeah. I think we have no problem. Okay, trim set. We are ready to go. Climbing down to... Uh, climbing to 2500. Okay. And we're rolling. Dragon to the left. Holy crap. That was a bad start. Didn't expect too much talk. Did you come up or right? Yeah, I'm up. Um, maybe I would take you. It was it was it was more uh, demanding than I expected it to be. A lot of talk, and it really pulled me in one direction. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, yeah, it can um, it can play with the wind a little bit. Where you are. I turned right. I was turning right to. Oops. To. Uh, and now I'm going more or less on uh, 230 to uh, climbing to 2500. GPS is just pointed where you are, I can see. Okay, there's Oslo on our one o'clock. Okay, I see, yeah. Just sitting next to that, uh, sitting next to the sea. Yeah, to the floor there, yeah. So 
Yeah, I've lost sight of you, but at least we're flying the same route, so I can see what you see anyway. I could try to slow down a bit. Reaching 2500, I'm leveling out here. I can't see you either now. But I'm just aiming for the. Uh, I'm going over Oslo. Oslo, Oslo is now to my one o'clock. Going more or less over there. Yeah. A bit, a bit left from the from the cruise ships. Yeah, I'm, I think I might be just a bit left of you then. And I slowed down a bit now. I'm flying with just 15, uh, 15 uh, boost and. And uh, 20 hundred RPM. Yeah, I see you now. You are on my 10 o'clock. I'll try to get in your direction. I have the labels on, you know. Um, yeah, I can't think I might have, I'm not sure. No, I see you just to try to get in contact with you. Yeah, Yeah, but Oslo looks nice. Yep, certainly does all those ships there. It's the first time I've flown in Norway since I've had the um, Orbex scenery. Do you have as well those white spots? I don't know what they are. On the ground, some white areas? Uh, I don't have that. I have it where it, um, some of the buildings seem to be black until I look across at them and then they reveal themselves. It looks like it's, they could be lakes, but then it might be ice on it, so maybe it's, it's confusing the seasons here. Yeah, I can't see any snow.
It's passing through some clouds now. Yeah, I think we have to go a bit under them. Yeah, it's not too bad, they're mostly broken. Clouds seem to start about 2,000 feet, I think. Yeah. Do you see those small islands now that you're passing? You should pass a bit yeah. to the north of them, that means to the right. Yeah, I see them. And then we come over and there's another fjord. Um, and then there's a kind of a kind of a bay. After, yeah, that, just, after that fjord yeah, comes just up. just on my um, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Yeah. No, no, not behind that, on the far side. So this area, and then comes another fjord, and then comes a little air, and then comes a small bay, oh, okay. and there's a village, and we should pass over that one. And then we go over land, and we come to an area where we have a road, a highway, more or less, uh, coming, and it makes a sharp turn, a 90 degree turn, and we should pass over the 90 degree turn, and from there it goes to a narrow valley, and from that on further southeast, uh, southwest, around 220 approximately. Okay. How fast are you flying? I'm currently doing 110. Okay, because I'm faster than way faster than you. I'm 130 approximately and yeah, I think you're behind me though. I might yeah, I'm directly, I'm di me. directly behind you, but like, it's hard to keep to catch up. Let's right, see. Just letting the GPS do the uh, fly mode for the most part. I'm not hand flying. Nah, too lazy for that. Ah, okay. I'm still hand flying. I'm trying, trying to get a feel for it. But it feels completely different to the standard chest that I've been flying before on Netflix. <laughs> six. My takeoff was horrible. It was it's got a good bit of power in it, hasn't it? Pretty much takes yeah. off by itself. Yeah, but I, I was completely unaware of the torque. But that, that got me really. Again, a small area that looks just white. Look, almost like ice patches there. Yeah. Oh, that's a take screenshot of it. I Twitch. I, I'm running a Twitch stream, so you can look at the video in the end. So I'm just passing over another fjord. You're doing what? Looks like there's another fjord or something I'm passing over. I'll probably be getting the name wrong. Yeah, yeah, you. In that bit. You're passing now over another fjord, and, and there should be a bridge or something like that. A land bridge. Um, it's kind of a spit of land that sticks out to my left, but yeah, um, exactly. there's no bridge at the end of it.
I wonder how over some roads that make good rally stages. I wonder how it will be landing this thing. I, think I have to concentrate. <laughs> it would have been easier to fly the Spitfire, actually. For you, maybe. Yeah, the route goes more or less over this land thing there on our left side. But uh, we are good on course. Slightly different than flying over England. Is it? <laughs> just, just a tad, yeah. A bit more sea, a bit more fiat mountains. A bit more, uh, yeah, a bit more to look at. Especially I've been doing lots of flying over central England today with uh, Air Hauler 2. Yeah, I guess, I mean, it's not the worst country to fly or to travel. It's quite scenic. Must be a nightmare if you want to drive to one side of one fjord to another. Yeah, that's why the, why the Norwegians are so good in building tunnels. <laughs> Now actually we are directly on course, we are exactly, exactly where we should be, so that's good. Oh. And we'll try to direct you, once you come to that uh, 90 degree turn of the, of the highway, and in front of you there should be kind of a valley that we have to fly through on the, on the far side of this highway. And from there we turn to we turn to two twenty, but I mean you have the GPS, you should be able to find it anyways. Just set the heading back to 220. Yeah. So we're on a heading of 222 at the moment, so we're not far off anyway. Do you see those round mountains on our one o'clock? Uh, yep. There's one, two a bit to, to half one, and the one is the one, and the uh, I think between those we have to go. Okay. So I'm coming at some very low lying cloud. Yeah. What weather engine are you running at the moment? What what? Which weather engine are you running at the moment? FS2, uh, FS Global Release Weather. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've made the switch to Active Sky 16. And how is it? It's very good. The clouds are just amazing with the um, cloud art stuff. Trying to get a bit under that cloud here.
Yeah, you see now there's this little bay, and we should directly pass over the the village there, down to our to our right a bit. Oh, I see. To the, yeah, to the right is a little you can little bay. Yeah. I wonder what the draw distance for the planes is because I can't see you at all. Okay. I have to. Trying to yeah. slow down a little bit. I'm going with 130, so I should catch up. Yeah, I'm doing 120 at the moment. around with things that I shouldn't play around with. <laughs> Yeah, we will fly along this ridge now to the left, I think, more or less. We should be now over the highway. We're well, passing a road in the mountains, but that's a big highway. Yeah, Norwegian highway. Oh yeah, there's one cutting right underneath me. I think I selected ice on the lakes, that the lakes are frozen, I haven't adjusted it since. Ah, uh, yeah, that might be it. Yeah, mine are lovely blue lakes.
So the weather's improving on my side here. Looks like you're getting just a bit of mist. Um, I'm, yeah, right in the middle of a cloud at the moment. Yeah, it's better to follow the river actually, not the valley necessarily, and uh, not the road. I mean, um, the, yeah, just to the right of the river. Yeah. And then we should come into a next valley, and there's the, the airport. Uh, there's kind of the field and, and the airfield that the first one that we pass. And, but it's not that obvious. It's not a big field. It's just a small field somewhere in the mountain area. Us. Hey, we might as well just pass over it. Yeah. If you don't want to land there, then we can just pass over it. According to my GPS, um, so there is a little triangle which I think is you. I'm about eight nautical miles ahead of you. Yeah. Okay, it looks like that river's bending off towards the left of me now, disappearing away into we'll some we'll hills. Yeah, exactly. We continue straight. See, there's a ski slope on your right side.
my ADF doesn't seem to work. Can't tune it. Okay. Have we got the latest patches? No. I just I installed it yesterday, so I don't know. Which which patches are there? Um, if you just do a search for A2A Updater, there'll be a oh, link okay. to their forum and they release like a, it's a bundled set of patches for all of their planes. Ah, okay. Because um, so, sometimes when they release it, obviously what's sitting on their server that you buy is quite a bit behind. And I think the ADF, the ADF issue got fixed. I seem to recall something about that. Ah, okay. Switch it off now. There should be a bigger town here and some kind of fjords again. Once you pass yeah, over I the got, bridge. Yeah, I've got a big old town in front of me right now. Yeah, and on the on the other side of that town, on the once we cross over it, there should be the airport somehow. Yeah, it's just on my nose. Okay, great. And there's a mast on the right side here. It wasn't marked in my map. Air feels a bit calmer here. It was a bit gusty, or, or maybe my controls were off on the other side in the Oslo area. Don't know if I imagined that or if this was really the case. That's good. Looks like you're catching up now. You look like to be about five nautical miles behind me. Ah, I see the light now from the, from the airport. Yeah, I'm just passing over it now. Okay, from the airport it is uh, 27 minutes approximately to, the, to our goal. I have to say, it's a, it's a nice difference to uh, all this IFR airlining stuff. <laughs> yeah, that stuff still frightens me. It's just 218. Continue of a course of 218. If the wind is still correct, that means. Because it might have changed, but uh, it's only guesstimating, anyways. Yeah, it's my sat nav's just put, or my GPS has just put me on two, uh, on 214.
How Chindras? I don't know if he's still listening. Ah, he is. He said hello in the chat. I just switched the just I think I switched the autopilot on here for a second. Doesn't work. I have to do the update, I guess. Yeah, what's not working? Your GPS? Oh, autopilot. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so the A2A updates will update all your A2A planes as well, so you may find you've got updates for the other ones. I just hope they don't break anything because this last time I, I think I deinstalled them again because they were breaking my Spitfire controls. But uh, I will give it a try again. The barometric pressure is still 22, 23, something like that. Ah, now I see a dot. Now I see you appearing. Cool. I'll, uh, I'll let you just pass by me and then I'll uh, pick up speed a bit. How fast are you flying now? Uh, now at 110. 
Okay, so I have to break down quite a bit. I just hope I find the airfield because uh, now it's the uh, the whole thing becomes a bit more uh, even or more similar from the str from the landscape. It's just woods and mountains. Yeah, especially if you're only looking for a small uh, small grass strip. No, it's not a grass. It's concrete, but it's still just placed somewhere on a mountain on a kind of a hilltop. Okay, I'm reducing now. Should be a challenge. Yeah, we'll be alright. Just go around him. Worst case. For some reason I lost a bit of speed there. Next flight, I have to plan a bit better than we have, and I can make uh, kind of fly with the correct speed, fly with the kind of take the time of each lag, and you know when you're supposed to fly somewhere over a key point or whatever. But uh, that first one was just now to get familiar with it, to get familiar with the plane. Yeah. And see that so at least we know networking thing. Works. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of get so those problems sorted. those frozen lakes at plus 10 degrees. Ah, see, see the this little island that peaks out there, like this really small round island on on our eleven o'clock. I think I know where that is. I hope at least. Can't see in a minute. See lots and lots of lakes. So it should soon pass over a valley that is kind of crossing us. Uh, on the right side it's more in particular and then it turns into our way. And there should as well be a road, I guess. That we pass over. There's a lot of roads here, but... Some kind of clearing. And then we have 13 minutes. I will take the time from that on. The ground speed of 108, so we are flying a bit faster. Yeah, I've got a ground speed of yeah, 108. And now comes the arithmetic how much, if we're that faster, how much less time do we use? That's all of those, those things that I, I'm really bad at calculating stuff on the fly in my head. Yeah, it reckons we're about 20 minutes from our destination.
Okay, now I'm coming by, I'm passing on your right side. How fast are you? Um, I'm now doing uh, 90. Okay, I'm 100. What is the power setting? Um, or the RPM? Yeah, RPM and boost. RPM 2200 thereabouts. Okay. Uh, fuel fuel flow is at 10. Uh, give me the the next the manifold pressure. Manifold pressure is 17. Okay. I'm on your. Uh, it's four o'clock now. And I think in front of us is this mountain road that uh, we should pass over now to the other valley. Okay, it looks like some sort of highway. It's just on my nose. Are you behind me now? Ah, oh, there you are. I can't see at the moment. I'm on the three o'clock. Two to three o'clock. Uh, I'll see you in a minute, moment.
Okay, you're actually showing us slightly behind me at the moment. You see your lights. Yeah, I'm on your four o'clock now, quite close actually. Oh, bizarre, you're passing behind me. Really? The net code is not that accurate, it seems like. No. no I noticed how when you were taking off it was a little bit laggy and it was difficult for me to follow your course. Yeah. I wonder if uh, FS, FS host is any better. Yeah, I don't, don't know. It's a bit older, isn't it, FS host? Yeah. Okay, now I know where we are. That's good. Well, the the normal the inbuilt multi multiplayer via Ghost Spy or whatever this was called from Flight Simulator in the beginnings that was really good. You could do formation flying and all that shit with it. Yeah. I suppose I forgot about it as they started making improvements. We could try to use the inbuilt prepared after that session just to see if it crashes or if it really connects. Yeah, I'm trying to think if we tried that last time. Although that was when we were trying to get the Dash 8 stuff working, wasn't it? It was a slightly no, different. No, that was. Uh, Dash 8 is using its own netcode. Yeah, that's it. So uh, it was a I, was, I was trying it with Dave one the other day, but that was, uh, I think, before we had prepared 3. What, what kind of version do you have now? Um, I'm on, uh, was it 3.4.19? Yeah. Yeah, we could try it then, and yeah, see if it actually does it. If there's any difference. Okay, I'm now seeing you on my four o'clock. No, uh, <laughs> that was some ages ago. So I'm about 14 miles out now, my destination. Yeah.
So the airfield should be here now. Somewhere. Let me just see. There's the road going. Yeah, it's got some small lakes on my nose. Should be in front of us any minute now. I think I see something. Yeah, just on my nose, there's a very narrow grey strip. I can't see it yet. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, it's got um, three buildings next to it. Three or four buildings. Okay. And it's just on the other side of the wooded area. But obviously that might depend on your vegetation settings and prepared. I have it on dense, I think. Yeah, I think I've got it on very dense. Or yeah, right some, something like dense. that, but... Should be... Uh, any second now. But yeah, no, now it's, now it's all in between all the uh, woods. Oh, coming off all the right? Ah, I think I see it. Yeah, that must be it. Okay, I will do. They do a circuit, and should we do the landing from the from the direction that we're coming from? I think that's the best because the wind is, if it hasn't, yeah, it hasn't changed from the southwest still. So we land directly in the wind. So I just cross over it and then go to a left pattern, left down yeah, wind. No and the elevation is. 300 and third, 90, 400 feet approximately. So, pattern I can descend now. Should I go first? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'll try and just maintain my height for the moment.
Okay, so I'm going to stay at about 2,000 feet at the minute. Copy. Yeah, I see you were just gone by me. Not a very long strip. No, you should be absolutely fine though. The 182 does uh, stop quite quickly. But I recommend full flaps. Yeah, definitely. I'm turning now into a really steep base and directly into the final. Okay, yeah, I see you. There's the field by me I haven't taken, but I will, I mean, there's the whole, the whole beginning of the strip on, on our side is uh, not for use. I'm too steep, I go around. Okay, I might uh, go in for landing then. Yeah, go for it. Okay, coming on finals. Okay, I'm on downwind now, I see you. Turning base. Okay, I just pulled off on one side of the runway just to give you room to come down. 
Ah, you have still time. You can taxi to the to the apron if you like. Okay, turn it around. I have to use the runway to come back on. Relatively smooth landing. Yeah, look good. I'm on finals now. Mind you, don't get distracted by the birds that fly across the runway. Do they? Yeah, we've got a whole flock of them. I'm just going to watch you come down and get a good photo. No, don't like it. One more round. Okay, no problem. Turning final again. No problem.
Well, it looked like a smoother landing. Ah, it was a bumpy one. It was. It, was it looked like it bounced though. But I don't know if that was the net code or what. No, it was Tuesday landing. Tuesday landing. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday. You count it like that. <laughs> Bit hard in the end. I, I think I have to do some touch and goes to get familiar with it. Yeah, it's one of those planes where you really have to um, bring yeah, the speed to... down and kind of float along the runway a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Almost let it stall. It definitely isn't flying on rails. No. Oh, yeah, parking ground is not great, so I'm just going to put it here. Yeah. It, it really, it feels like you're floating in a liquid. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. What are you gentlemen flying? Uh, we are flying uh, Chestnut 182. Right. In a X plane or something. Uh, yeah, I'm prepared. Ah. We just finished a rather little nice flight over Oslo. Right. Are you a uh, shared cockpitting it? No, no, no. We just yeah, we are so rich. We each has his own one eighty two. Sorted. Did you want to try the um, prepared multiplayer? Yeah, just let me shut it down. All right. Is there a way to get the controller on apart from the uh, the menu? Um, have a look. Drink. I can remove it, but I can't. I can't uh, edit. No, you click on it; it doesn't do anything. No. So yeah, have to do it by the menu. Okay, then I disconnect from FS Cloud. Touchdown sync rate minus nine. That's not too bad. Everything is perfect, apart from my max sync rate. It was. I think was I had great. the same. Yeah, I had my my sync rate was perfect. That was at five four two feet per minute or whatever it is. T total rating great. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I'm wondering with this, we have to use Hamachi or something. I think so. Let's. Is there a multiplayer? Where's the multiplayer? Go to network multiplayer off your menu at the top. Ah, yeah, there it is. Network so you settings, just have multiplayer port login. range. Under and network multiplayer. settings, you just got what port range you're using. Uh, well, the standard one, 6,000, yeah. You can do a connect directly IP or host a session. 
Yeah, I imagine we got to use for that shit. Yeah, probably. I, he's building my object list at the moment. <laughs>